for the simple reason that if we make an error in the very precise terms and the very precise use of these terms in theology, that can translate then into an error in thinking in our personal life. Uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, Jesus, uh, a divine person, the only Son of the Father, did experience suffering and death through, through his human nature. But God in his divinity, per se, uh, cannot suffer. And yet, mysteriously, the God who cannot suffer does suffer through his human nature, uh, such that we can never say, uh, God does not understand. Uh, God understands. He understands everything, first of all, because he's God, but also experientially, uh, this God who cannot suffer, paradoxically did suffer through his human nature. In other words, God has been there and done that. Chapter 1, John Paul II and Redemption, the Trinitarian Trilogy. Redemption, the Church's fundamental principle of life and mission. In a world that is often inarticulate in the face of true crisis, John Paul teaches that his death on the cross speaks, that is to say, the inscrutable depth of his suffering and abandonment. The church never ceases to relive his death on the cross and his resurrection, which constitute the content of the church's daily life. The church stays within the sphere of the mystery of redemption, which has become the fundamental principle of her life and mission. Now, now why does the, the Holy Father start uh, in his uh, uh, Trinitarian trilogy with this? And why do we mention it first? Because there have been, uh, it, there have been impressions given in recent years that, that, the, that redemption is something other than the, uh, the church's um, fundamental principle of life. Um, and, and this is in homilies and sermons and all kinds of programs and false theologies such as liberation theology and creationism theology. Um, no, redemption is at the heart of the faith. You know, you go to a retreat or a mission, and if you never hear the name of Jesus Christ and his mission, which is redemption, there's something wrong. Or if you hear a hundred homilies and they never talk about Jesus, the Savior, and how he saved through a cross, and his principal mission, redemption, there's something very wrong. Uh, it's like Archbishop Fulton Sheen used to say, um, uh, you, you go and you, you listen and you listen and you listen and, and you scarcely hear the holy name of Jesus Christ or his holy mother or anything about salvation. As the successor of St. Peter, John Paul teaches and defends Christian doctrine and the Christian life which flows from it.